Hey guys, Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today I'm going to walk you through how to get a Case 580K in travel mode. And what I mean by that is how to get the hoe on the rear of that back up into the position where you can travel after you've been digging. Sounds easy, but if you've never done it before, it can be a little confusing. So I don't know if this applies to back hoes from Case other than the 580K, but it definitely applies to the 580K regardless of what year you're working with. And this machine's a little older than some of the newer newer ones, so the controls in general are a little bit different, which I'll show you right here real quick. Uh, there's there's no joystick controls here, guys. This is old school three stick, and I wish I had the four stick for the extend to hoe, but I don't. But I'll walk you through that real quick. So when you're in the seat, you got five levers and two foot levers. These two levers on the left here control your left and right stabilizer. This lever here curls your bucket, then your dipper, then your boom cylinder. The key thing to remember with the levers are that when you push a lever away from you, it pushes whatever part of the backhoe you're moving away from you. So stabilizer cylinders, you push it forward, it pushes the stabilizers down. If you push the bucket cylinder forward, it curls it out. If you push the dipper, it does the same thing, it'll swing it out. And the backhoe, or the hoe arm, when you push it forward, will lean away from you. There's definitely a learning curve involved, but muscle memory is a pretty incredible thing once you spend some time doing it. So right now, this thing is in travel mode, despite my stabilizers actually being down to kind of save my tires. But you can see that triangle-shaped piece there. That's got a lock on it that keeps the cylinder from, or the boom cylinder from swinging out if it were to leak down. And uh, that's released with this lever here, right here on the, on the right. So I would hit that down and it'd swing that up. And then I could let my boom cylinder out to let it out and start digging. Now once you use the backhoe for a little while and you're done digging, ready to put it back in travel mode, that's where people can get a little bit confused. And so I actually have a uh, story that someone told me about a guy who had a 580K and he was told by another guy who actually runs machinery for a living that he thought the backhoe hydraulic system was a little bit weak because it couldn't even put itself into travel mode. Had he seen this video and known what I'm about to tell him, that guy may not have sold his backhoe. That's right, he sold his backhoe on the advice of this guy. The story only gets better if I say I bought that backhoe, but I didn't. All right, I'll, uh, I'm gonna fire this thing up and take it out of travel mode. Not gonna do any digging because, well, I don't really want a hole here. Once I take it out of travel mode, I will demo what you would think would be the right way to put it back into travel mode, which would be closing everything up and just pulling the boom cylinder back towards you. And you'll see that even at high RPMs, it won't make it back up in to lock this a uh, little triangle piece I was talking about in, that little hold, that little catch. And that right there is why this guy thought his hydraulic system was bad. So I'll show you that, and then I'll show you how to actually put it in travel mode. As you may have already suspected, it's like everything in life, there's a trick. So the key is as you get it swinging back towards you, once it gets close to engaging that little, I keep calling it a triangle piece, but sure, that's what we'll roll with. Looks more like one of those things you throw in the water, like those uh, like boomerang type things, Nerf makes. Anyway, once you get the hoe to the point where it starts engaging <clears throat> that triangle piece, you then immediately slam this lever forward. And I just did that. You can see the whole boom wants to go out. So that's a little counterintuitive, right? Yeah, it's really counterintuitive, but it works. Um, but even once you know how to do it, it still can be, my hat's crooked. Maybe my head's crooked. But even once you know how to do it, it can still be tough, which I'll demonstrate for you guys right now. So 
sometimes low RPMs still won't get it done even with the trick. So I had to, yeah, to goose it a little bit. But that works. That's how it's, that's actually how the manual says to do it. I take that back. I don't know if the manual tells you how to do it. But we found out on Google that's how you do it. So that's how we do it. Kind of a simple video, but hopefully you guys find it helpful. I know without the internet, we'd have been uh, wasting a whole lot of time trying to get this thing in travel mode the first time we started running it. So there you have it. The basic controls on the hoe side, anyway, of a Case 580K backhoe. I assume any of them that don't have joystick controls would be very similar to this. Like I said, this one's got the three stick. If you hear people talking about a four stick, what that does is that will be the extension on the dipper cylinder for the what they call the extend a hoe. I'd like to have that, but play the hand you're dealt, right? Like I said, I hope this was helpful and informative for some of you guys out there that might be in a similar situation. If you have any other questions about the 580K or you want to comment about what you're doing with your 580K, this one's going through a rejuvenation period. I got a lot of cylinders to repack, hoses to replace, none of the electronics on it are good. My lights are terrible. But those are probably going to be winter problems. I'm going to, or winter projects. I'm going to keep running this thing until stuff blows up because I got a lot of work to do. So, appreciate if you guys would stick around the channel, subscribe, check back for more videos, and hopefully we'll see you here in the near future. Take care, guys. I was just watching the playback of that last clip there, and I mentioned electronics. Yeah, there are no electronics on that. I meant gauges. None of those work. Or the lights. I guess you'd call those electronics. It's been a long week, guys. See ya.